And we have much more ahead right here on America's Morning Headquarters, including a special guest. Hi, I'm Karina Heinrich, lifestyle and wellness expert. I have the perfect hot weather snacks to keep your entire family cool. Plus, they're very healthy, too. Welcome back, everyone. Kids in lots of places will be looking for some yummy snacks to stay cool as the temperatures heat up to the end of their summer breaks. Yeah, it'll take more than a dip in the pool or playing in the shade to keep them energized. And it can be hard to stay healthy as a family and look for quick and easy ways to beat the heat and also save some coins. And that's why we have Karina Heinrich, the lifestyle and wellness expert, stopping in to get us through the end of the season. Karina, always good to have you on the show. You have such great ideas. So we're in the thick of the hottest summer months, technically, because I know right now not everyone is hot, but we're soon to be back in it. And it can be tough to choose some healthy snacks that are suitable for a hot day. So what are your family favorites? Yes, Jen and Colleen, I am so excited to share our Heinrich favorites that are perfect when the sun is out and the temperatures do heat up. It's not always easy to get your kids to eat fruit, but when you freeze them, they take on a whole new appeal. Now, freezing fruit as a snack isn't exactly new, but some of the options I'm going to share might be. So who knew that watermelon tasted so good frozen? You can freeze chunks on a chopping board and then pop them into Tupperware. Frozen oranges are amazing. These are a great way to take it along to the beach or the park, let them thaw out on the go, and then they're perfectly chilled when you want to eat them for a refreshing treat. And other amazing options are grapes, banana chunks, a mango, and pineapples. It'll help it last longer, too, because I feel like in the summertime, exactly. fruit, fruit can go bad so quickly right here. So if you freeze it, it'll last longer. And exactly. Karina, it's National Watermelon Day, so that's perfect and a oh, great yay. way to keep the fruit nice and cold <laughs> for those summer days. Okay, talk to us a little bit about popsicles, ice cream. Of course, those are two things that come to mind when you think about summertime. Absolutely. They're a must and actually so easy to make at home. And it's a great way to get your kids involved as well. We make homemade mango popsicles, but you can use whatever are your favorite fruits. We just blend a large peeled and chopped mango, the juice of one lime, half a cup of water, or you can actually use half a cup of Greek yogurt to up that protein and calcium, half a cup of chopped strawberries, freeze them in your popsicle molds and enjoy. Make them your own and be creative. What about for the kid that says, nope, I want ice cream. I want ice cream. So what options do you have there? You still can't. Let me show you this guilt-free two-ingredient banana ice cream recipe that tastes just like the super indulgent rich ice cream. But in fact, it's only using a banana and some peanut butter. So you peel and slice four to five ripe bananas, freeze them for around four hours until they're firm, then pop the frozen banana, two tablespoons of peanut butter in a high-powered blender until smooth. We did sneak a few chocolate chips in here. So delicious, healthy ice cream treats. Definitely. Oh, yum. Yeah. That sounds great. I really want that instead of ice cream. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make that for myself. Who cares about the kids? All righty. Okay, so exactly. Karina, uh, I have two girls at home, and uh, drinking water can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, so how can you make it a little more exciting? you got to help me out here. I know. I hear you. Now, I love adding fruits and veggies to water, and I know the kids might say, what? But it really does add a new flavor. You can slice a small cucumber, add to a large jug, add to sparkling water. You can also add in mint leaves. Alternatives are berries, sliced oranges, lemon, limes. Set up a station, let them have fun with it, and it makes the water go down so much easier. And I, I like your idea of setting up a station and letting the kids do it themselves. You always yeah. have great ideas for, you know, pulling together items that, you know, kids can do. It makes them, I think, want to, uh, to incorporate it into their, their lifestyle even easier. What about veggies? If we want to get veggies mixed in with the fruit, are there any good way to, any good way to do that? Yeah, you sneak them in. I mean, mint is so good for digestion, especially for kids and cucumbers. You want really high water vegetables to be adding in here that don't have a strong taste or they're not going to like the water. So these are easy ways to sneak in. Or you can chop really fine and sneak it into your ice cream and really trick them up. <laughs> I feel like you have to be like veggie ninja here coming in and trying to sneak in some of those veggies. <laughs> I know. I know. So but you can do it. You can do it. We are talking today about the temperatures because, of course, you know, it's August. It should be blazing hot, but it's not. And I know in the Chicago area where you are, yep. temps dipped into the 40s yesterday morning. And we've got a poll question. We do this every day. Today's question <laughs> is, 
What do you consider cool for August? Is it below 50? Is it the 60s or 70s? Or you know, some might consider 80 cool, depending on where you are in the country. So what's your answer? What do you consider a cool August temperature? The 70s, it feels like fall. You have the little light jacket. Usually here in Chicago in August, which you guys know, it's like 80s, 90s. It's almost unbearable sometimes. So we had like 70s yesterday and I thought it was beautiful, amazing. Okay, so Karina, I have to ask you, because I mean, it's been kind of a hot topic here. Are you a fan of summer or are you a fan of fall? I'm fall all the way. Bring me the jacket. Me too. The crisp <laughs> weather, the fall leaves. Absolutely. I only want to sweat if I'm running outside on purpose. I don't want to sweat <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> Karina Heinrich, thank you so much. She's our lifestyle and wellness expert. And thanks for bringing the great thank ideas you. for the kids today.